Hello everyone, welcome back to Ray House Gaming. First of all, I'm so sorry guys, I was too busy last week and I didn't have time to do the video. You know, I was running around the city, I was just too busy. So today we have another video for Samurai Era. In this video, what I want to tell you, the first thing is, if you are still new, if you just joined the game, okay? If you have not reached level 60, there's then you have to take note of this thing but if you have already passed level 60 then you already know what I want to tell you okay now so the first thing is when level 60 you will unlock this SSR hero draw don't waste your goal to make the draw alright at the same time you can buy the red hero shot in the shop okay so this is what I <coughs> what I want to tell you because you know um when, before I reach level 60, I use all my points to buy the SR hero because I'm play I'm I'm playing these here these two heroes in my team. So I spend all my points to buy this guy. And then when I reach level 60, I realize that oh I can actually buy this red hero shots. And then but I don't have enough points. For new player, you know, during the seven days event, I'm sure you can get a lot of this free token to make the hero draw. And then after you made the draw, you will get this point and you can redeem the red hero shots. So before you reach level 60, don't waste your point to buy the SR hero shop, okay? Just don't buy it. Same for the shop like, you know, like this um, arena shop. You know, we have the red hero shot in the arena shop also. And then we have the red hero shot in the marriage shop also. For the merit point, mainly I use to buy the cultivate pill, but right now we have the red hero shots. So you can buy the red hero shots with a point also. But but for this point, you will need one more thing is the red hero essence, which you can buy from the clan shop every day. I would suggest to buy all every day. You can also buy it from the owner shop, alright? So you can buy this and then you can buy the red hero shot in the shop. So if you are still new, if you have not reached level 60, just don't spend your points. Just save your points and then you can you can spend when you reach level 60, alright? So after seeing so many red hero shots in the shop, I am confident that we can play two red heroes. You know, on my previous video, I told you that I am going to try one red hero because I thought that it is very hard to collect the red hero. But for now, I'm going for two red hero, and I'm confident that we can play two red hero. But you know, as I told you, even you are playing two red heroes, okay, you have to focus on one main DPS. For me, this girl is my main DPS, all right. And then second, second is this healer, and then the third one I'm focusing on is the combo hero from my main DPS. You should do the same in this sequence. First main DPS, second healer, third is your combo hero for the main dps so let me just talk about the equipment for the equipment uh if you have not noticed just take note that you know when you are doing the enhancement every 10 level you have a bonus for the ref equipment refine every 3 level you have a bonus as you can see i am doing all at level 18 now i'm going for level 21 for the bonus so don't don't just refine your weapon you need to refine all together every 3 level same for the trinket enhancement, every 5 level you have a bonus and then refine your trinket, every 2 level you have a bonus, okay? But for the for right now, SSR trinket is very hard to collect, so it's only level 1 and I know that at one feature, I'm not sure what level already and there is one feature will be unlocked and then you can collect this SSR trinket at that time, we can, you know, we can collect and refine our trinket for now, just keep it if you want to use the power, you can use it, okay? We can get a lot of power and refine it to higher level. If you want, you can use it. But for my main DPS, I'm using SSR. It's level, it's level 1 right now, okay? So for my second DPS, you can see the refining of my equipment is only level 9. I keep try to keep all at level 9 for all other heroes. Then the rest of the resources, I'm spending on my main heroes, all right? And then same for the Cultivate Pew. You know, all my heroes are level 4 because level 4 you 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 can use skill at the first round I think is enough right now I'm just focus everything on the main DPS right now it's level 7 you should do the same all right because I heard a lot of Chinese player they are saying that before they release gold heroes they will have gold heroes and they will have one new heroes 
uh, one or two new heroes also. So before they release new gold heroes and red heroes, you know, you should just focus everything on your main DPS at the moment. And then when they release gold heroes and other red heroes, then you can, you know, you have to focus on others, a few others, all right? So for now, just focus on your main DPS. And then one more thing I want to tell you is every day don't forget to come here and check the daily bonus. Every day they will have a different bonus. For today is Monday, they will have this double agreement shot and hero shot from the story instance. And I I I will try to make a schedule okay from Monday to Sunday. What are the bonus that they will give you? Uh I believe they are fixed. For Monday is double hero shot, so I'll make a record and I will share with you. For now, just don't forget to come here and chat, um, and try to collect the 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 bonus as many as you can. It's double, it's free, all right. And as I told you, you know, um, this cultivate pure is the main resources in this game, and sometimes in the events they will they will have some events which can give you the free cultivate pure. So when you check, try to complete it, all right. Try to complete the quest. And then one more thing, they are having this trio of hope. As you can see, I'm collecting all the cultivate pill, you know. And then the second resources that I heard about is this this hero coin. This hero coin. Okay, um, you know, after you unlock all this point, you will have this bonus. And then what I heard from Chinese player is that in future you can upgrade the star level of this thing. So what if so what I want to tell you is even you unlock all this thing. And if you are having extra hero coin, just keep it. Don't sell it away, okay? Just keep it. You can use it to upgrade the star level in future, okay? Just keep it. So for now, let me go to the the these these things. Uh, for the arena, it's nothing special, okay? For me, I'm just doing this auto sweep every day. I'm just listening to go up, uh, and then I will just. Uh, sometimes you can get the orange or purple equipment shards from the from the arena. Then you can come here to collect the 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 equipment shop. Nothing special about this too. You need to do it every day. Same for the invisible tower. Okay, you need to do it every day. I would suggest you to reset this two or three times if you want. Okay, don't go for more than three. I think it's not worth it. And then for the shop, as I told you, you have to buy all these things and then you have to collect one complete red equipment for your main dps heroes and then your all other heroes should have the orange equipment all right for me i have not yet started to buy this orange shot i'm just buying this refined stone and the red, red equipment at the moment but in the end you you should have all these uh, orange equipment for all your heroes okay don't buy the purple or this uh this uh yellow or blue blue equipment okay don't waste your your points and effort and same for the same for the invisible tower okay uh, on one day they will have a double point for the invisible tower i'm not sure what day okay for example let's say tomorrow is they will give you the double bonus point so what you want what you want to do is that on the last reset you know all the events they are reset at every 12 a.m every 12 event they will have a new event so before 12 a.m you can reset one time and just keep it at zero star don't use the auto sweep okay and then after 12 event when the double point even start you can use the auto sweep meaning uh, meaning you can you can collect more points for extra one one round all right that's what i want to say i hope you understand so um uh, nothing special about this you just just do it every day and then for the rebirth same things like yesterday sunday they have a event when you kill the rebirth you can get the cultivate pills okay so when uh, most of the events about the rebirth they will give you the cultivate pills so you want to complete all the events because this thing is very important but for this game, I realized that, you know, this slay token is a problem. I always find that I don't have enough slay token. So uh, as you can see, I buy all these things. You know, um, it, I, I, don't re I don't really recommend to buy it. If you want, you can buy it, okay? If you don't want, you can just leave it. But for me, the reason I'm buying is because I don't have a fixed timing to play this rebate. As you all know, that 12 to 12 to 4 p.m., 
uh, 12 to 2 p.m. every day you will it will cost you only one token to fight the rebel for other timing it will cost you two two slay token okay so if you can if you can manage to 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 fight the rebel at 12 to 2 p.m then i think you will have enough slay token but for me i don't have time fixed time to play this so i always find that i don't have enough free token and then when you have the rebel event some Chinese player what they are doing is they will have a sub account in sub account in their clan then they will use the sub account to share the repair to let the main account to kill so if you want you can do the same thing but it will cost you some time and effort all right if you want you can do and it's very important to fight the repair and if you can you know just call it all these daily rewards and then you know just uh, you can redeem these cultivate pill or you can redeem the hero shop for for me I I'm not sure I will still go for the, the Akadi VP. Maybe some hero shot. Alright. You know, 50 50. 50%, 50%. So that's about that's about the rebate. For the sea hunt, nothing special. Just just remember to clear to claim your chest and do a new sailing. If you want you can upgrade this thing, okay. This thing will give you a dub a chance to get double the items. But it is a chance, it's not a hundred percent chance. If you want you can do it, alright. So this is about the sea hands. For the sea city conquest, I already told you in previous video, nothing special. One thing is about the city loot. Some of you ask me, is it worth it to claim all the city loot? Uh, the first time is free. Second time is 50 ingots. The third time is 100 ingots. So you ask me, is it worth it to spend your gold to claim? For me, first city i just use the free chance okay because first city they are having only a few a few revert okay but for second cities onwards i will use uh goals okay maybe 50 goals for the second city and then the third city i will use uh maybe 100 goals you will have a more chance to get more revert for higher cities so i would suggest for first city normal city just use the free chance and then second city onwards you can use the goal to claim the loot all right and then the next thing is the capital. For the capital, it's very important. I would suggest you to to play every day to claim all the chests because we can use the point to buy the red red equipment and red hero essence, and they are the only item that you can use to buy the red weapon and red hero shot. So I would suggest to play this uh this thing every day. And then if you have already played this, you all know that you all know that when you win you will have this winning streak and this winning streak will give you bonus point all right so if you have time if you want to maintain this bonus point there is one small thing i want to tell you um this event will also reset at 12 a.m so if you want 12 at 11 15 before the event reset 10 minutes before the daily event reset you can play all these things and claim all the chairs and maintain your winning streak let's say you have a 15 winning streak and then after 12 p.m then the next day event will be unlocked then you can using the same winning streak to clear the the all the mission for the next day okay if you want to maintain this way because uh if you lose or if somebody attack you you will lose your winning streak all right so if you want to using your main winning streak to get more point for two days then do it at 11.50 then 12.00 12, 12 a.m. after reset you can you, you can continue alright so you can get using the winning straight to get the points for two days alright so um, these are all the events that I can share with you at the moment and uh, I do want to share with you about all other stuff but uh, my level is too low right now when I when I unlock all these things I will share with you more alright so okay that's all about the video for today about samurai era and then i will continue to do another video for dynasty heroes for those who are waiting for the dynasty hero video i'm i'm trying to do it as far as i can i will try to and upload it today also if i can all right so just stay tuned thank you for watching i will see you in next video bye bye